Hi, I'm Nathan, and I'm going to do a little review of this 450 size quad, show you some of the features that it's got, and uh, hopefully do a little bit of flying so you can see how it works. Here's the basics of it. Like I said, it's a 450 size with 750 kV motors spinning 10 and a half in or 10 inch props. The, uh, the camera is a Mobius camera that's been repackaged into a square chassis so it'll fit on a regular gimbal. It's got a brushless gimbal and it's a full FPV system. So the video comes out of here, goes through a chipset, and it overlays telemetry that you can see in the goggles. Now this camera has the option of filming in 1080 or 720, whatever you pick. It's got this 5200 milliamp battery, and that's going to give you total total flight time around 14 minutes, but you really need to be coming home around 10 minutes so that you've got a buffer. Now this quad has some fail safes. It runs the APM 2.6 board, so that's going to give us the ability to do GPS. So it will basically, it can fly itself if you decide to do missions, but for most everyday flying, the GPS and the APM board, they work to keep it stable. So instead of you having to compensate all the time on your sticks to keep it where you want it, you basically can let off the sticks and it keeps itself where it's at and then it just looks to you to tell it where to go. Okay, so here's the radio. It's not too bad. There's a lot of switches, but don't let that overwhelm you because you mainly just use this switch and this dial. This dial turns the camera up and down so that you can get the frame of what you want. And this switch flips between the modes of just the radio. Use the controller. It's like almost any of the other radios you've messed with. This is your throttle. This is your rudder. This makes right. This makes left. great thing about these quads is the APM board. If you get yourself into a pickle and you're not sure what to do, as long as your sticks are centered, it stays where it's at. Okay? Now, also, this has some fail safes. Like, if your battery is starting to beat to get low, then you can fly it and fly it and fly it, and uh, once the battery gets to a low enough point, it will initiate a return to launch sequence to keep it from falling out of the sky. Okay? Uh, also, if you lose transmission for any reason, say your batteries go dead in your transmitter, or you really just don't know where it's at, you can turn off the transmitter and it'll initiate a return to launch as well. So that covers quite a few of the features. What I think I'm going to do is uh, go ahead and turn it on and get it flying and show you some of the uh, options while it's flying. Okay. So now I'm going to show you kind of just a quick, hey, how do I get this thing flying? All right. I've already plugged up the battery. It's just setting out there. Now I've got the transmitter. Transmitter's on. All switches are in their up and out position. That's just one of the things that you always do when you, before you turn one of these on. Um, to arm it, hold the throttle stick to the bottom right for, I don't know, like three seconds. You'll know when it's armed as it'll start spinning. This is our switch that goes into loiter, or position hold, I'm sorry. And uh, once I take off, I'm going to flip that switch. Okay, I'm going to break it down just a little bit. Now, as you can see, it's flying without any input from me. All the little adjustments that it's doing are on its own to keep it where I want it to be. If I grab it, it goes back to where it was. I'm going to come down a little bit. So as you can see, I don't have to do anything else. 
if I want to set that right there and go inside and play Call of Duty, and here in about 10 minutes, it's going to initiate a return to launch because its battery is low, and it's going to land itself. So that is how hard these are to fly. Goggles. These are Fat Shark goggles. They have a built-in 5.8 gigahertz receiver. Now, you can't see it because we're filming, but inside here, you actually get a video that shows you from the quad's perspective from that camera. And it tells you telemetry, like where it's at, where it's going, uh, how to get back home, your battery voltage. Um, you can have it stay latitude and longitude if you want to. But the biggest things are an arrow to get back home in case you get lost. Because sometimes the perspective is a little weird when you're in the sky. And uh, in your battery voltage. Because you kind of want to monitor that. Even though it's got the fail safe, it's something that you want to keep your eyes on. Along with that, it's also got a horizontal horizon. But this feels like you're Superman. You can fly with these. And, I mean, my comfortable range is around 1,000 feet out, 400 feet in the air, and, and back home. It can go farther, but that's where I like to keep it.